Hi guys, I'm Ali and you're watching Flip It TV. Tonight I'm in Dolan's Warehouse and I'm going to be catching up with Dubliners, We Cut Corners. Woke you up with a communist kiss, hoary old bedroom politics. That's no way to get woke. Suddenly you're too good for this. Suddenly you're too good for this. Maybe I don't want to be fixed. Maybe I'm just not broken. From We Cut Corners, it's absolutely lovely to have you on Flip It TV. Welcome. Thank you very Thank you. much. How are you? Really Great. Good, good. First off, it's like, how do you find the time to be primary school teachers and tour organisations both at the same time? Um, this is our first ever tour that we're on at the moment, the certain three tour with um, the Ambience Fair and Windings. So we're kind of discovering it for the first time now. Okay. Um, but it's grand, it's, it's fine, you know, teaching, teaching gives you a bit of time sort of, to, to do stuff. So, so um, yeah, it's, it's been going well so far, but we'll tell you in about six months. Time. Okay, okay. <laughs> so like, was it all a happy accident for you guys? Or are you like, did you find time to like, write your songs in like the staff room, like at lunch breaks or something? <laughs> What's no. the story there? Like you're both teachers from the north and south side of Dublin, is it? Yeah. And uh, like, how did it all happen? Uh, well, we met in, in teacher training college. <clears throat> And uh, I suppose we, we used to play sort of acoustic songs together and then tired of that and decided to start playing using drums and guitar and then we became a drum and guitar two piece and entered a competition called the JD set. Yeah, I'll take you back to, was it 2009 when you won that? It yeah. was, yeah. Okay, so beforehand no one had really heard of you. You kind of won that as unknowns, like. Well, that that was te the JD set was technically our first ever gig, like in that for like as as John said, we had been playing just two like with two acoustic guitars or whatever up until then, and um, so that was our first ever gig as a drum and guitar two piece. So then th that was the sort of heat, and then when we won that, the final was kind of our second our second gig. So I suppose that's why no one had kind of heard of us because we hadn't done it. So yeah. Before, you know? And then your third gig was with um, Two Door Cinema Club. Yeah, on the back of the the JD set, we won like a slot on the JD on the English the JD set UK, okay. which was up in Belfast with um, Dan Black, Two Door Cinema Club, and and ourselves. Very so good. It was great. It was really good. And like one thing, actually, you, you actually opened for Jonas Policewoman as well. Like mm. I've always kind of been really curious by her. Like, what is she? Re what's she like in person? Did you get to meet her and talk to her? Yeah, we did. And <laughs> what's she like off stage? She was pretty intimidating, to be really? honest. Really? Yeah, she was absolutely lovely uh, we had just sent her a mail and we've been to every show of hers in Dublin uh, up to that point and just sent her a mail and asked if we could open for her and she said yes and she was absolutely lovely had a lot of organic chocolate and nuts in her backstage and we were granola. we were very granola, lots of granola. <laughs> we were just very intimidated, and we kind of like apologized every, every time yeah. we said for everything for being for there. Saying hello and <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing, that kind of awkwardness. We and bought her flowers as well. We bought her a really nice bunch yeah. of flowers. Yeah. Spent a lot of money. And she was pretty happy with them. She yeah. was very happy. She was she was lovely, but scary. Like kind yeah. of just, just, just she had a real presence. I think it's yeah. probably because she went out with Jeff Buckley. Maybe like I don't know. That maybe yeah, that could have had a lot to do with it. Like yeah, yeah. 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 yeah she I've was, always no, she was great. Yeah, was she? Yeah, yeah. she really That's good. Cool. Cool. It's something I've always wanted to know. Yeah. What is she like? Yeah, yeah. No, she was very very friendly. Yeah, she was good. Pretty intense person. Like yeah, I can imagine. So tell me about your own songwriting. I like your lyrics an awful lot, actually, to be honest. John just thanks a lot. Is that yourself? Is it? Yeah, I suppose both yeah. of us really. Yeah. What's a communist kiss? Communist kiss. Yeah, it's um, I suppose a little bit hard to explain, really. But uh, no, it was actually somebody misheard a lyric from another song of ours, which is called "A Pirate's Life." And they Which thought, was on Faith Street not only two weeks ago. Wow. <laughs> you watch Faith Street? No, I don't watch Faith Street, but oh. checked it out last night to hear what all the ruckus was about. Okay. Like, <laughs> amazing. Like, it's the best thing since, like, I know. It really is. Gay Byrne on the Late Late Show or it's something really, like it's, it's the best thing since Gay Byrne on the Late Show. It's I, just like, what's I, going on I here? Like, stop watching it. Neither it's, can I. Crazy. I think everybody in Ireland loves Vogue. Uh, yeah, just a little bit like. She's lovable. She's yeah, lovable. there's something kind of cool vogue. about her. <laughs> Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we had this song called uh, Oh Pirate's Pirate, Life yeah. and it has a lyric about yeah, a com the commonest kind of a thief 
and the <laughs> Swedish band that we played with our met once thought we said a communist kind of a thief. And then we thought that was funny, so we tried to, we were writing a song called Go Easy, and then that just came up and it sounded like something that might exist, but okay. it, I don't know if it actually is. Very interesting, very interesting to listen to. <clears throat> and then about the musical side of things, how do you go about that? Separately, together? Uh, sort of depending on the song, like sometimes we would start with, with nothing and, and jam and, and stuff comes and then we kind of go away and, and write little parts and come back and bring them and sort of mash them together. Other times we'll write separately okay. and bring, bring our separate songs to the table. So there's, there's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of, a, it just depends really, it depends. But a lot of it is, um, I suppose there's a lot of we like, you know, bashing through them kind of a lot to, you know, because the songs, in when they come in either form, they're kind of very raw and and um, it takes quite a while for us to, to sort of bash them into shape. Um, but so that's a, a big part of the process, and and takes seems to take us quite a while. We're slow. Uh, we're very slow. We'd have songs, Lots bits of, of songs, songs for ages. But it takes a long time to finish them. Yeah, yeah. So the other band, well, the <laughs> one of the other bands, the Ambience Affair, complained of our lack of, of a variety of material on the tour. So that's something that will maybe we'll, have we'll to take from it. And we'll take from <laughs> it and and just hold against them for the rest of us. <laughs> Well, you spent a lot of 2010 recording with Jimmy Eady. Mm. How did you get on? How was your recording experience? He's probably our best friend. Really? Yeah, yeah we don't want to leave the cool, studio. Like. That's why we don't want to finish the album because we just want to keep going in and, and doing more to it because we just get to hang out and it's with him. It's and like he, well, he makes us actually like lunches and he's, really? he's <laughs> quite interested in like serious nutrition. You know, he really likes Marks and Spencers. So and you're kind of getting the education while recording at the same time. Very much it's so. Yeah. Very uh, yeah, much like it's a, and it's a holistic education because, you know, he teaches us Fitness, about life and um, yeah, stuff. everything. Yeah. Right. Do you do jumping jacks before like tuning up the drums? So and lunches, the <laughs> jumping jacks. Yeah, no, it's, it's been like, genu like genuinely great, great, great fun. I can't believe it was such a it's yeah, really good fun. Um, we spent kind of most of the summer. Well, it's funny actually. We kind of didn't spend most of the summer. We spent actually about seven days recording. Okay. That's how long it took to actually book the album, sort of get it recorded or whatever. So you but spent the rest of three months eating. Kind of yeah. doing <laughs> exercise and and lots of chatting and just like mi the mixing has been just kind of taking a, mm. a long time. But um, I suppose it's it's all in the mix uh, how it will sound in the end. So the tiniest exactly. little things seem to make big differences. So yes. what can your fans expect? It's spring when it's coming out, isn't it? I guess, yeah, conservatively. I don't really know when uh, when spring starts, but some people would contend that that, that spring starts at, in February, but I don't think it does. I think it starts in March, because it's still cold until yeah. during February. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 But, oh, but the album was meant to go out in spring, so it oh. depends what. How about you just say when it goes out and it starts to get warm? When it's Or the clocks go warm. back? Yeah. 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 Actually, Absolutely. that's all right. Good that's cool. Good. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, what, what can we expect from that album then? Loud. Loud. <laughs> we just want it to sound as loud as, as we possibly can mm. make it. Um, that's the main criteria. And there's a mixture, like. Um, I suppose it's probably half and half between very, very loud drums and guitar, lots of distortion and shouty vocals, and half kind of very quiet songs and just very sparsely arranged. It's just the way it worked out. It seemed very to be good. a nice balance or whatever. So that's, I think that's the kind of thing. Looking forward to it. Oh, and it's been released <laughs> on record as well. We are really hoping to Hoping? Do, yeah, 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 yeah. Not for any other reason than we both like that format and want to have a copy for ourselves. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Well. Uh, any last words for the TV audience? None. No. <laughs> no. Just no. hi. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in school, don't do drugs. Stay in school.